great football team. We cheer the Pittsburgh Steelers. Welcome to Pittsburgh. This is Anthony. And uh, today I'm just getting ready to start an Amazon order. But I'm doing a private hangout um, with Hip Flip and Mama and a few other people. So I'm getting ready to hop in that hangout and to start on building this Amazon order. Hang tight. I'll show you as much as I can. As you might have heard me say yesterday that Macari's been blowing up, but it has been blowing up. Uh, Vendu has helped me so much with cross posting. I cross posted 30 new listings over to Macari and Poshmark yesterday, and I think I sold six or seven items on Macari just since yesterday afternoon so um most of the stuff i told you about yesterday but i did have two more items come in overnight and let me show you what those are <sighs> sold another one of these uh supergirl action figures uh like i told you yesterday i've been i've had these for over a year and they've just recently started selling within the past i don't know like a couple months uh, Macari's been a lot better than eBay on these, believe it or not. I might have sold maybe one of these on eBay in like the year plus I've had them. Uh, the other ones I've sold all on Macari. So um, toys are great for Macari. So if you have a lot of toys, I suggest you cross post them over there and they should sell a lot faster than they do on eBay. Uh, it's just a younger demographic over there. Uh, the other item that I sold was a jean jacket. I almost positive I took a best offer on it. Let me open up the email here. And it should tell me how much I sold it for. I had it listed at 55, which was a little bit more than the market was dictating. And I sold it. I took a best offer of $42. The nice thing about Macari is they can't really offer you anything than like 20% less than what you're asking. Uh, so I do really enjoy that feature about it. But I do have the jean jacket right here. And I'll show it to you. It's a really nice uh, Levi Strauss jean jacket. So I got this uh, from Ross Dress for Less and literally paid pennies on the dollar. I can't remember quite what I paid, but it was it had to have been like sub three or four dollars. So that was a really nice flip for me. Uh, I've been doing really good with the Ross Dress for Less stuff. Um, that was another Macari sell. Typically clothing doesn't move as fast on Macari, but it's been selling for me. So it's always a good plus. But I'm going to get this stuff packed up and i'll check back all right so i'm sure most of you guys already know how to resize boxes but i'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do it um i just have a regular um box cutter here um, you can go and buy special tools for this that work really well um but i literally just use a regular box cutter uh to size it to where i need it to be i'm just going to slice up the sides of the box and uh, I do have the action figure in here and I have some of this like air pocket stuff So I'm literally just gonna kind of force it down a little bit um, I may actually have more air pockets than I even need to use Which is a good thing. So I'm gonna take some of it out just to kind of get this a little bit flatter Because the idea here is I want this to fit in my mailbox so that's going to be the goal. Get it flat enough to fit in my mailbox. Now, you can score the sides um, just for teaching sake. Since I don't have one of those scoring wheels, what I'll do is I'll just take the box cutter itself and I will just lightly run it across where I plan to fold it. Um, if you push too hard, you'll actually cut it, but if you just lightly run it across, it, it's literally the same as it would be if you were scoring it. So it went from being a big box to just like a smaller type box. So um, I'll, I'll neatly tape this up so it doesn't look super ghetto, but that essentially that that's the way you just easily resize a box um, like I said there's other ways like if you don't do this a lot which I resize boxes daily um, but if you don't do it a lot they make tools that make it really easy to do this you can find them on eBay and Lonnie actually just came out with one that is a box cutter but it also has the scoring tool at the bottom I may actually end up ordering one of those um, just because it would make things a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. I'm just so used to doing it by, by eye and by hand that, um, you know, I, I haven't really invested in a tool like that yet. 
but definitely if, if you're looking for something like that, you can hit up Lonnie over at Shed Flips, Garage Flips. He has a cool tool. Or you can just uh, type in box resizer on eBay, and they have stuff like that there, too. Okay, so I just got done polybagging these books that I picked up. Uh, brand new, a dollar a piece on these. I should make close to $9 profit on each one. And their rank is really good, so they should sell reasonably quick. Okay, so one thing I've been trying lately is uh, I've been picking up clothing to send into Amazon as well. Just cheap clearance clothing wherever I can find it, um, so long as I'm not gated. And it's been selling, so I'm trying that again this right, time. Guys, so I just finished my Amazon order, and it took me forever. Um, so let me show you it right here. See those two boxes? Those are going to Amazon. Um, completely uh, packed full. Uh, one of them is just a replenishable and it weighed too much to fit all in one box. So I had to go with two. Um, both of those boxes are filled to uh, the brim and uh, those will go out Monday morning because I'm gonna have to have Ashley help me take them to Staples because between the two of them it's about 80 pounds and that's too much for this broken back to lift. So. We're gonna take those on Monday, get those dropped off at Staples and get them on the way to the warehouse. Um, update on my Canadian Amazon package. I did call Amazon and they gave me permission to drop it off at the warehouse in Ontario. So uh, we're leaving Wednesday evening when Ash gets out of work to go to Niagara Falls for two days. So um, probably either Thursday or Friday I'll be taking that to the Amazon warehouse in Ontario and uh, then we'll see if Amazon Canada is worth doing for somebody in the US. Uh, it does cost a lot to ship there. Um, man, we're like probably five hours from Canada and it costs between $75 and $100 US to get it to the uh, warehouse over there. So um, luckily we're going to be there you know visiting you know for a little bit of a uh, getaway so hopefully um, you know I'll get to see the power of the Canadian Amazon uh, for pennies on the dollar so I'll keep you guys posted Need with that to help me list some clothing huh mr. Nala good boy say hi to everybody Nala say hi to the vlog good boy good kitty what you doing buddy you having fun in there? This is where I did have a lot of my Amazon replenishables in here, guys. And now that I got it all packed, Nala found himself a new place to hide and to play. Enjoying yourself, buddy. I'm just listing some clothing right now, guys. There you go. Get a better view of it right now. This is a Tommy Hilfiger double XL dress shirt. I just got done listing some uh, Michael Kors. Uh, a couple of NASCAR shirts and just random thrifted clothing. That's what I'm working on right now. So much done today, guys, between eBay, Macari, Poshmark, and um, Amazon. Still listing clothing. Here's another Tommy Hilfiger Double XL. And one of my secrets to getting a lot done is doing hangouts with people so it feels like I'm not doing anything. So there's a uh, little private hangout group I'm in right now. Uh, give a quick shout out to Hip Flip and Mama, to Nate Every Damn Hustlin', to Hot Mess Thrifter. They're keeping me company while I do all this work. Um, but guys, I'm gonna knock the vlog off here because I wanna get this uploaded at a decent time for you guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy.